about Nick Carter. It seemed like this. A, I told y'all it was a pop music day, but we got the latest on his uh, essay case, which I was actually curious about that. So Nick Carter is facing complications from three separate legal battles over essay allegations. That ain't the word they use. They actually use the R word, but you know, we got to be careful when it comes to certain words that we be using on this damn channel, especially on the e -tube. So a Nevada judge has dismissed a defamation lawsuit filed by Backstreet Boys singer Nick Carter against Ashley Rep, the accuser who alleges Carter S.A.'d her on a yacht, almost said the other word, on a yacht in 2003 when she was 15 years old. Now, Carter countersued Rhett with the defamation claims in January after she became the third woman to sue him for alleged S.A. In her underlying lawsuit filed in August of 2023, Rep alleged Carter had sex with her in 2003 while she was intoxicated and a guest at his family's compound in Marathon, Florida. She initially filed as a Jane Doe, but later participated in the docuseries Fallen Idols, Nick and Aaron Carter, which I believe is currently on Max, if you have that channel. I know it's on in, in, was it Investigation Discovery, but if you have the streaming service, it's on Max. So it said, in his countersuit, Carter claimed that Rep told him she was 18 years old. Carter admitted in the filing that, she had sec that he had slept with her in 2003, but he called it consensual, saying it took place after they spent several days together and developed a connection. Now, at a hearing in Las Vegas on Tuesday, Clark County Judge Joe Hardy Jr. said Carter had no grounds to go after Rep for calling him a racist because their sexual interaction met the standard for statutory R-word until Florida law. I mean, sorry, under Florida law. They said the truth is, is an absolute defense. This is what Judge Hardy ruled from the bench. Based on Carter's own judicial admissions, they did punch. They had sexual relations and she was a minor because I'm like, y'all need to do the math and say like, well, how old was she when y'all in 2003? Look at the, the the birth certificate or or her ID or whatever and look it up and see like, OK, now was it was she lying and saying that was her age or whatever the case was? And that's why he said what he said. The judge also said that Carter's arguments about rep allegedly being deceitful were irrelevant to her motion to dismiss a defamation countersuit. He said Carter could use those claims to attack Rep's credibility if her lawsuit goes to trial. Now, her birthday and the date they had those sexual relations is undisputed, the judge said Tuesday. People use the phrase statutory R-word, and a person who commits statutory R-word is the R-word. Now, in a related ruling on Tuesday, Judge Hardy also shot down Carter's attempt to get the S- that the sexual batteries lawsuit filed by another accuser, Shannon Rue, thrown out. Now, in the motion asking for summary judgment in his favor, Carter claimed that Rue's allegations simply weren't possible. Now, in her lawsuit filed in December 2022, Rue claimed that Carter S. aid her on a tour bus in February of 2001 after a concert in Tacoma, Washington. And so now let's pull up one of the, the accusers. They said her accusations are factually impossible. This is what Carter's lawyer, Lyan Wakayama, argued at the Tuesday hearing posted online by the nonprofit website, Our Nevada Judges. She argued that fans spotted Carter leaving the concert and arriving at his hotel without any notable delay. Now, Ruth's lawyer disputed the claim, arguing that a friend of Ruth's called that Ruth was escorted away for a photograph, or sorry, an autograph, and later returned hysterical and disheveled. We've never alleged the assault took place for hours, lawyer Mark Boscovich argued before the judge's ruling. It could have taken minutes for those events to transpire. Now, Judge Hardy agreed that Boscovich, that with Jock Boscovich, that genuine issues of material fact remained. So Carter's motion was denied. Miss Ruth is pleased that she'll be able to show the truth to the injury. Sorry, the jury. What is going on? My brain today. <laughs> Boscovich said in a statement to Rolling Stone on Wednesday, Carter's lawyers did not respond to a request for comment on the Tuesday hearing. So they said the two rulings against Carter came two weeks after Carter countersued another accuser, Melissa Schul Schulman, for defamation in California. Schulman, a former member of the pop group Dream, I believe that's her at the top of, of the photo. Actually, that's Melissa Schulman. 
I let his Carter drug in S aid her at his Santa Monica apartment in 2003 when she was 17. Carter denies the claim before counter suing Schumann in Los Angeles County on July 26. Carter also sued her for defamation along with Ruth and Rep in Nevada. Now, Nick Carter is a violent sexual predator who tries to attack and intimidate his survivors when they speak out. I'm not afraid of his aggressive tactics and lies, Schumann told Rolling Stone of the Nevada rulings. I've experienced truth scrutinized down to every detail, and he should be ready for what happens when his lies are exposed under the microscope of the court. I look forward to his disposition in my case, she said. Ashley and Shay display incredible courage and resilience by standing up to Nick's ferocious attacks against them. So this is basically the whole story and nothing but the story. And... While I did not see that Fallen Idols docu-series, I think it's like three parts or something or another, I need to get around to it, but I keep forgetting because there's so many, so many other shows that I need to watch. If y'all have seen it, let me know in the comments. But um, when they, look, when they say that people say that they've been assaulted about somebody, believe them. Now, I can understand if it was a one and done. It's like, okay, well, I haven't heard anybody else come out, but we have three different women who have said that they were essayed by him. And are we not inclined to believe these girls? Are we supposed to believe that Nick is innocent in some sort of way? I mean, don't get me wrong, innocent until proven guilty. And it seemed like the judge is just slammed going against everything he's trying to do. He's trying to counter sue these people, talking about his defamation of character and all this other stuff. And the judge is like, you're reaching. And they have a right to say what they need to say and present what they need to present. And if you need to go to trial, and, and you know, I think it's hard to prove this sort of thing in court, but we'll see what happens. And I do believe that, you know what, there's always going to be people out here, just like you have the R. Kellys and everybody else who's going to be Team Nick. And that's your right to feel that way and believe in what you want to believe. But if, he, but if he's been out here assaulting women, then he needs to pay the price for that. So I say all this to say, what do you guys think of this story? Do you believe that Nick Carter could be capable of these sort of things? Look, these days you don't know what people are capable of when they do the things that they do. So let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments down below.